Transport Deputy Minister Cindy Sue Chikunga will be identifying the body of her son who died in a car crash among five other people in Ladysmith. Less than 24 hours after the accident, six people died in another accident. Transport Minister Figile Mbalula is also there to offer support. For more on this, let's go to our senior reporter, Desen Tathia, who's been following both ministers around. Desen, just give us an update on what's happening there. I see even uh, priests are also there to offer their support. Maseko, I think let me start like this. If pain had a sound, it's what we were hearing just a short while ago from behind me. So the Deputy Minister, Sindhisiwe Shikunga, as well as the Minister Fakile Mbalula, and uh, other members of her family, they're here at the morgue in Ladysmith, and they have the very gruesome task of identifying those remains of her son, his wife, and their four children. And this was that accident that took place in around... Uh, half past seven on Sunday I'm told before this they first had a briefing at the RTI offices and you could already see then from the mood as the detail of the accident was shared with the deputy minister that she was already quite visibly upset when she walked to her vehicle and now unfortunately this is uh, something that she has to do she has to be here to identify those remains and after this point they'll also be making their way out to where that accident took place on the N11 you mentioned an important point in your intro that there was another accident that preceded it that's correct on Saturday there were six people that were killed in a crash there in fact cross case it in it's been a bloody weekend there were also other accidents in the Midlands for example where 12 people died and I think this really speaks to the state of our roads at the moment and driver behavior which is leading to these types of accidents but we will be having an opportunity to speak to the minister about that shortly after they get to that accident scene we are giving them space during this period to do what's necessary and we'll be able to engage further on exactly what transpired on that day so I'm guessing, Desen, that we don't have any information as to how this accident happened because I remember over the weekend you did share from a contact of yours uh, some gruesome, very gruesome videos of an accident. Is this the same one? This is uh, another accident, and that just you know shows how many of these crashes took place over this weekend, not just in case Ed, but across the country. I was looking at some reports showing that there were accidents in the Eastern Cape, in Limpopo, and all of these with more than five people that had passed away. And here specifically, in, La in the Ladysmith area on the N11, those two accidents. So essentially in 24 hours, you're looking at 12 people that passed away. I have some details of how this accident transpired. The family members of uh, the deputy minister were traveling in a Toyota vehicle, a small vehicle, I believe it's called a Starlet, and they were heading in the direction, or rather through Ladysmith. I believe they were heading towards Escort, and there was another vehicle, a Bucky, that was heading in the opposite direction. The early reports that we we're getting shows that they may have collided head on at this point it's suspected that the bucky had ended up on their lane and resulting in a head a head on collision and the driver of that vehicle is currently recovering in hospital but unfortunately as i mentioned all of the occupants of the toyota vehicle in which the deputy minister's family were traveling all of them passed away Devon, um, or rather Desen, uh, I'll be waiting for that interview you'll be having with the minister, particularly about the state of our roads and how, uh, you know, as South Africans, all of us, even their family members, are in danger. But thank you uh, for that report, Desen Tathia, live for us there um, in Durban.